Hi everybody, welcome back. Today I have a tutorial on this very chic makeup look. This is something that I would wear to a date night or perhaps um, if I were going to a wedding as a wedding guest. I would wear it on a Tuesday dinner. I just think that it's beautiful and it works for everything. This is also a full face of By Terry. I am working with By Terry in this video. And if you have been watching my videos for a while or perhaps you read um, my blog Shameless for Peruse way back when, you'll know what an incredible full circle moment this is for me. Fun fact, with my very first paycheck, I purchased this By Terry lipstick in Terribly Nude. Uh, so this is a very sentimental video for me. So we have some newly released products and some tried and true long time favorites. Uh, I really hope that you guys enjoy the video. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you like what I do and let's go. Let's start with the complexion today. And you guys know how I love a good pore filling primer. So I'm pressing the Doncelis primer over the center of the face, anywhere where I have some texture or open pores. It's kind of like equal parts hydrating and smoothing so that it performs well even on the driest of skin types like my own. I also wanted to show you guys the Brightening CC Serum. I like to use this as a bit of an illuminating primer of sorts. It's a, a very refined glow that doesn't exacerbate any skin texture or pores and I've been loving it for my sort of no makeup makeup days because somehow it appears to like perfect the skin without adding any coverage. I don't know how it works. I think it must be science. Since this look is super chic and classy, I want the skin to look like skin, right? So I'm gonna opt for a sheer veil of foundation and then if we need any extra coverage or brightening, we can achieve that with a concealer. The Sheer Expert Foundation, it's a really nice one for every day. Uh, it'll even out the skin tone, it's very skin-like. Uh, foundation uh, typically wants to settle and bunch up around my nose, that's my inverted commas problem area. But even when I look really closely into the mirror, I can't see any products when I use Sheer Expert. Beautiful formula. On to concealer, and this is actually a new release, the Stylo Expert Click Stick Concealer. So this has a legitimately full coverage and a very creamy formula that I find works equally well under the eyes and also for the face, uh, for things like maybe blemishes, pigmentation, redness. For the under eye, I'll typically select a, a more peachier tone because it better counteracts any, any bluish or purple circles under the eyes, which I'm noticing more and more <laughs> recently. If ever your under eye concealer is starting to look a little bit ashy, it probably means that you could go for more saturated salmon -y tone. And then for larger areas of the face, I prefer a more yellow tone to lift any shadowy areas or perhaps balance some redness. Uh, so for me, I'll typically apply a little bit on the sides of the nose where I have shadows and areas around my mouth where I'm a little darker. Many of you in the past have asked me to review the By Terry Hyaluronic Powder. I really enjoy it. It's silica based, surprise, surprise. All of my favorite powders are. And silica is very fine and airy, so it doesn't build a lot of texture on the skin. And I think when applied correctly, it looks pretty much invisible. Silica is not the most oil absorbent, but it can be reapplied throughout the day to blot makeup, refresh makeup, uh, without it getting cakey at all. Just look at them go. It's beautiful. The dual powders are another new release, and these are multi-purpose, right? So you can select shades for whatever purpose you want. You can also adjust the luminosity by either focusing your brush on the outer ring for a more matte finish, or you can dab in the center a little bit for some extra glow. I'll be using the bronzy toned uh, Choco Vanilla to add a little bit of a sun-kissed glow around the edges of my face. And the brush that I'm using here has a very soft uh, synthetic fiber and it's a retractable kabuki. So the um, casing kind of comes around the, the brush to keep it safe. You can throw it into your purse for touch-ups. It's also ideal for traveling too. The rose toned uh, Sun Desire, this is really lovely as a blush. Um, also, if you're feeling a little bit gray or you're, you've got more of a sallow complexion, you can dust this a little bit across the nose and the forehead to get more color in the complexion. The mid-tone beige nude, I like to use as a little bit of a low key highlight down the center of the face. And then the paler ivory fair, I'm really focusing just on the very high points for that strobing shine. That's the complexion done. And obviously you can simplify this routine for every day, but I just wanted to uh, showcase as many by Terry favorites as I possibly could. I love how the skin looks. It's, it just feels like I'm having a really good skin day. 
Onto the eyes, and I'm sure you've heard of the Ombre Black Stars. It's one of By Terry's cult products, and the shade range is stunning. They're really unique, kind of nuanced neutrals, and you can just scribble them all over the lid and buff into the crease for that one and done eyeshadow look. I've used a few shades here because you know me. <laughs> I just get overexcited and then I put all of the makeup on my face. Uh, Frozen Quartz, this is a rose gold shade and actually rather sparkly, but it's a grown up sparkle, right? For the magpie in all of us. So I'm popping that on the inner half of the lid. A bit of misty rock in the center of the lid also. This is the most complex, warm, mauvey goodness. I think it is actually my favorite eyeshadow stick of all time. I use it every week. Ombre Black Stars, definitely a standout in the line. Ghost Watch, you will fall in love. This step is totally optional, but I often like to tie my eye look to the face by just blending a little bit of that bronzer around the very edge of my eyeshadow. Uh, it just adds a little bit of extra warmth, uh, makes everything look a little bit more cohesive. Also a little bit of that face highlight around the tear duct because it wouldn't be me if there wasn't some sort of tear duct highlight. Oh yes. This is another old favorite, the Cold Terribly. This is the kind of eyeliner formula that glides on like butter, it's super soft, and then you have a minute or so to smudge and blend it out, but then it says bulletproof. So today I went for a rich brown shade across the outer half of the upper and the lower lash line and just sort of smudged out the edges for a bit of extra drama. Uh, this also serves to ground a shimmery look. I love the black shade in this line as well. It's pitch black and there is the most glorious cobalt. Oh, I have a soft spot for cobalt. Tight lining with the same brown eyeliner. This formula is so bomb on the tight line and the waterline, it really lasts all day. We're skipping falsies today and instead going for many generous lashings of mascara. I actually did a Twitter poll recently, it was insightful, uh, regarding false lashes and it turns out that a good portion of you Never ever wear false lashes. Uh, so I hear you, this look is for you. A bit of a before and after here because I am very impressed uh, with how this mascara performed. I was searching for my new favorite waterproof formula and I think this is it. Let's quickly whiz through the brows. I'm going for a bit of a my brow but better kind of situation. All of a sudden, I'm really enjoying a very understated brow. Like who am I? No, but in all seriousness, I'll probably be back to my like major insane brushed up eyebrows within the week, don't worry. <laughs> my Rouge Expert uh, Click Stick collection is kind of like my prized possession. I feel like in an apocalypse, I would take uh, some canned foods, um, my external hard drives and my Click Stick collection. <laughs> I figured this is a good opportunity to uh, swatch some of my favorite shades for you guys. So 29 is a new color and it's a really unique kind of purpled grayish. Uh, and I like to kind of pat this onto the lips with my fingers and it's surprisingly wearable, but very cool. As a whole, the click stick formula is more of a satiny matte. Um, so it's just got that tiny bit of shine and it also has a decent amount of slip in the formula. So it's very comfortable to wear even on my peely dry lips. <laughs> I also like the delivery system of this lipstick because unlike a traditional bullet, the edge doesn't become blunt. So you can always achieve quite a crisp lip line without having to uh, you know, get a, a matching lip liner or use a lip brush. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. This is, I mean, this is a dream come true. Uh, and it's only possible because of you guys and the incredible support that you've uh, given me over the years. I love you all. I hope you're having a wonderful day, whatever it is that you're up to, and I'll speak to you all very soon. Bye.